Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is going to be a Q&A. About a week and a half ago, I put a post on my Instagram, which is Erica Conger underscore beauty, if you're interested in checking me out on there. And I asked people to just ask me questions, uh, whether it was makeup related or not, because I really wanted to do a Q&A video on my, on my channel. And also on my last YouTube video, I asked my subscribers to ask me questions as well. And you guys asked me some really good, hard questions, really made me think a lot. And I got this idea from another creator on this platform. Her name is Audrey. Audrey Michelle. I will definitely have her channel linked in my description box. Uh, Audrey and I connected on here, I don't know, shortly after I started my channel, which was in April. And I just adore her so much. She does such fun, positive, uplifting videos. It's impossible to watch her and not have a smile on your face the entire time. She creates wonderful makeup looks. I've learned a lot about high-end makeup from her. And I just feel like she's a daughter to me. I've never met her, but I just love her to pieces. And uh, yeah, she did a video not too long ago where she did a Q&A and I thought, what a great idea. So I figured I would go ahead and do one of my own. Um, the palette that I'm going to be using in today's video, <sighs> moment of silence. I am so excited to be using this palette. I have wanted this palette for so long and just couldn't get my hands on it. So I'm gonna set the scene here and tell you how I got this. So about a month ago, Nikki Raven, who is another creator on this platform, who I just love, respect, admire, look up to, I just think she's the best. She got a hold of me in the comment section of one of my videos and she asked me if I had an Instagram that she really wanted to chat with me. And I said, no, I don't have one. But about three weeks ago, my daughter was finally able to come over here and help her old mother set up an Instagram account. Thank you, darling. And I got a hold of Nikki right away, sent her a message and told her that I was now on Instagram. And she said, hey, I have a question for you. Have you watched my last uh, or my most recent uh, eyeshadow palette and declutter collection video? Mouthful. And I said, yes, I have actually. So she said, well, then you know who's getting my decluttered blush tribe palettes then, don't you? And I'm like, me? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And I was standing in the kitchen and I literally shrieked and threw my phone like right over my husband's head into the couch. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. And he's like, what's the matter? And I'm like, I'm getting blush tribe palettes. He's like, what's a blush tribe? I'm like, forget it. <laughs> totally lost on him. But yeah, I just could not believe it. So she sent me a couple palettes. The first one is the Hasina 2. I'm going to be using this today in my look. And I just absolutely adore this color story. I fell in love with this palette as soon as I saw it on YouTube, but I believe at that time, Blush Tribe was already defunct, and so I just couldn't get it anywhere. I mean, I've looked on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, everywhere, and couldn't find it. And I just think it's so gorgeous, and I cannot wait to use this, can't wait. Um, and then the other palette she sent me is the Paulina palette, which Paulina is the very first uh, creator that I started watching on YouTube about three years ago when I got all into makeup and super obsessed and fell in love with it. And this color story to me is just so gorgeous. I love it. I love the mattes, the shimmers, everything. I just think it's such a beautiful palette and I cannot wait to play with this as well. And then that little sweetheart, she sent me two other palettes, uh, two five in a box Catrice palettes, which I've always wanted to try one of these and I'm so excited. Um, this one is the 060 Vivid Burgundy palette and and I think the shimmers are just lovely. I cannot wait to play with this palette. And then the next one is the 050 Blue Smoky Look. And I love this. I love this. I think it's such a great, I love cool tones. So this is perfect for me. And this blue shimmer just looks stunning. So I will definitely be making videos with those other palettes as well. But today, it's all about the Hasina too. I can't believe I'm holding this. It's just, it's like surreal. Um, my daughter is having a rehearsal dinner for her wedding and I have a teal dress uh, that my aunt gave me to wear. And so I really think this will look great with that dress. So I wanna kinda like do like a practice look for the rehearsal dinner with this palette today. So if you're interested to hear my answers to the questions that people ask me on Instagram and YouTube, and if you're also interested to see me create a look with the palette that I have wanted with all of my heart and soul, forever and finally have it, <laughs> then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with this Q&A video and also with the look using the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. Thank you so much, Nikki. I just, I can't thank you enough for this. Um, I have done all of my base products. I've primed my eyelids. I've done my brows. That will all be listed in the description box. So let's open this up. And I think what I'm going to do, since my dress is teal, um, but it also has like a V neckline that has kind of like, oh, 
blue and purple and like tealy kind of like stone sequiny things are really pretty. Um, I think I'm going to start off with this shade here called Re and put that towards the front part of my transition area. And then I'm also going to start with the questions. Um, I figured I would start with my Instagram questions first. And since Audrey is the inspiration behind this video, I figured I would start with her questions first. So her first question is, let's see, what's your favorite place to go out for food? Um, right now with COVID, all of our restaurants here are still closed. They were open for a little while and then they closed them again. Um, so we don't really go out to eat much, but we do, uh, get stuff delivered to our house, like by Grubhub or Uber Eats, um, usually Grubhub. And we really like, uh, a couple Mexican restaurants here in town called, one's called, uh, Los Patrios and the other one's called, um, Chapala's. They're amazing. Uh, we also really like a place called Cafe Yum, which I think that's primarily like a West Coast thing. Um, it's like rice bowls and they have this delicious tangy uh, yum sauce and it has like black beans, avocado, tomato, uh, let's see, cheese, sour cream, salsa, and cilantro all mixed together. And you can have chicken too if you want that. Um, and then they come with these like really delicious homemade corn chips that I just love. I love Cafe Yum and my kids love it. My husband loves it. So I really like to get Cafe Yum a lot. Uh, we get pizza. Uh, we also go to a place, uh, we just get it and take it home, called Five Guys Burgers and Fries, which have the uh, best hamburgers ever and the most delicious french fries. So yeah, Five Guys is great too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we go if we're going to go out to dinner. But we, or you know, have stuff delivered, but we like to cook a lot too. My husband's a really good cook, so we cook a lot, primarily cooking um, lately anyway. Um, and then her second question is, have you ever been on a vacation that you would recommend? Um, now I'm going to go into this shade here called Mohan. I cleaned that brush off a little bit. I'm going to go into Mohan or Mohan and put that towards the outer part of my transition lid area. Um, I haven't traveled a bunch in my life, um, but we did live in Wyoming. Um, this was before I was married to my husband. Um, when Sydney was like a year old, I lived in Wyoming and that, uh, is a really pretty place to, to live. And there's some really fun places to go, uh, there, but we went to Yellowstone and that was just fabulous. I loved Yellowstone. It was so fun. The scenery is just gorgeous. There's all this wildlife that you can see. Um, and yeah, that was just a blast. I loved Yellowstone. Sydney, I said that she doesn't remember any of it because she was so little, but, uh, yeah, Yellowstone's gorgeous. Um, I've been to Disneyland and Disney World. Uh, I would, mm, I say I like Disney World better, I guess. Um, and, but primarily if I'm gonna go on vacation, I really like to go to the Oregon coast. Uh, we live about 45 minutes away from a town called Florence, which is a really fun uh, coast to go to. And it's got this really cool, like old town where you can like go through the shops and uh, eat a thousand pounds of saltwater taffy. I could eat my own body weight in saltwater taffy like 20 times over. Um, I just, oh, I love it so much. And, uh, but Florence is beautiful. There, there's a lot of coastal towns here, um, like Newport, Seaside, Lincoln City, Yahats, Gold Beach. Um, there's one down south of us that's called Brookings that Sydney and her friends used to go to a lot when she was going to college. So that's a really a beautiful place to go. But yeah, I just love the Oregon coast. If you ever come to Oregon, I highly recommend that you go to the Oregon coast because it's it's gorgeous. Uh, now I'm gonna go into this shade here called Iris and blend out that purple shade. Um, and then her next question was, what's my favorite color? And that's green, green of all color, all shades, but primarily forest green. I love like a deep dark green, love it. Um, and then her next question is, what do you wanna be when you grow up or your dream job? <laughs> Um, I got my degree in psychology and that's what I thought I was going to do with my life was become a child psychologist. Um, but I never went and got my master's degree. I had Sydney instead, which that was wonderful. And I don't regret anything about that. Um, just wasn't my time to become a child psychologist, but you know, I could still go back and get my master's. We'll see. You never know. Um, but if I could do anything I wanted to do and like money wasn't an object or object, is that right? Money wasn't an obstacle, maybe. Um, I would love to own a used bookstore. I would love to own a used bookstore and also have it be like a cafe and like a bakery. So like you could come in, pick out your book, get a coffee, get a pastry, and just sit down in like a nice little area and read and drink your coffee and 
eat a pastry. I just think that would be amazing. So yeah, I, I would love to do that. I would love to do that on the coast. Um, so maybe one day when I retire, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I tell my husband that all the time that I really want to operate a used bookstore, own a used bookstore. Her next question is favorite part of my makeup routine. That would be my eyeshadow. I love doing eyeshadow looks. Um, I've really gotten a lot more into uh, colorful eyeshadow looks. So it's been really fun to do that. Lately, just, I don't know, I'm not as into neutral looks as I used to be. I mean, I still like my neutral palettes and stuff, but I don't know. I just really enjoy doing more colorful eye looks. And then her last question is, what was my favorite class in high school? Audrey, that was 400 years ago. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I really loved high school English, um, which is like, you know, reading novels and writing essays. I really got into like Greek and Roman mythology. I just love that so much. And I love Shakespeare. Um... I don't know. I love love a lot of like old classic novels. And so, yeah, that's that's what I was going to do initially when I went away to college was become a high school English teacher. But long story, I ended up going into psychology instead. Um, but yeah, high school English was amazing. I loved it. The next person to ask me a question was Brody, and she's also a creator on YouTube. And I will definitely have anybody that has asked me questions that has a channel. I'm going to link their channel in the description box. Um, and Brody is amazing. I just adore her. Um, and we also follow each other on Instagram. But her first question was, what is my favorite makeup brand? And that's a tough one because that can change. <laughs> that can change by the day. Um, but I would say it's probably Cara Beauty. I really love Cara Beauty. And I've gotten some really nice eyeshadow palettes from that brand. And now I have some uh, liquid lipsticks that I really love to use. So, and I, they have a bunch of other stuff too that I'd like to try. And I'd like to get every single one of their eyeshadow palettes, but I don't need to, it's a little excessive. But yeah, today my answer would be Cara Beauty. You might ask me that tomorrow and it would be something different, but today it's Cara Beauty. Um, and then let's see, her next question is, what is a makeup product that I cannot live without? Um, this isn't really a makeup product, it's more of a skincare, but I have a moisturizer from Neutrogena that I love that has SPF in it. And I just, I adore that moisturizer so much. It's very lightweight and it's got this nice like sunscreen scent to it, which I love. I know not everybody loves that, but I love it. And um, yeah, I just love that moisturizer. It's so nice and just so lovely. And I could not live without that. Now that I use it, I will repurchase that every time I run out every single time, no doubt about it. So yeah, I love that. Um, okay, now Emily, uh, Makeup by Blowfish, that's her channel name, she and I just did a collab together not too long ago where we talked about our non-makeup related hobbies. And uh, I will definitely have her channel linked in the description box. I love Emily, she's like a daughter to me too. I just adore her and she has the most beautiful little girl that I have decided to adopt as my granddaughter. <laughs> um, and she lives in Sweden, so I mean, it's a grandmother from a distance, very, very large distance. Uh, but her first question is, what is my fave current blush? And I would have to say, I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. I would have to say that the Glowing in Grease blush and highlighter palette that I just got not too long ago for my birthday from my soul sister, Dee Dee, that has become my favorite. I'm gonna go into Erin now and just blend out that darker green shade with this. Um, I just think that's such a great blush palette and it's got some really pretty like kind of peachy tones to it that I really enjoy. I love using peach blush. It's my favorite. Uh, so yeah, I really love that. That's like my current favorite. Uh, and then her next question is, how did I meet my husband? Well, this is a funny story. So his name is Paul and we actually met in the sixth grade when we were 11. Uh, we went to middle school together and we were each other's first love. Um, he was like the first guy that was ever like my boyfriend. I mean, you're in uh, sixth grade. What does that even mean? But yeah, he was the first love of my life and he was my first like hand holding, um, my first like peck on the lips. Like he'd walk me halfway home after school and we just like kiss on the lips and then run away from each other. It was hilarious. And we were boyfriend and girlfriend for like two weeks and then he broke up with me and absolutely broke my heart. <laughs> and, um, it's, it's funny because I played with dolls forever, like way longer than I should have. And um, I used to tell my dolls that I was going to marry him someday. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, um, we, we were, then we ended up being really good friends after we broke up. <laughs> Finally, we were friends. And I ended up moving to a different high school. Uh, my parents divorced and we moved. And so I didn't see him again until five years ago. 
And I, I thought about him a lot over the years. Like I'd think, I wonder what Paul's doing. Like I wonder where he is and what he's doing and if he's married or happy or whatever. And uh, yeah, so we reconnected five years ago and just basically instantly fell in love. And uh, we've been together for five years and then married for a little over a year. And he's just my best friend, best friend, love of my life, soulmate. And I'm just really happy that um, we reconnected because it's been wonderful. Okay, now the next question is from Nikki Raven, the giver of this beautiful palette. Um, and she asked me, um, if I could go anywhere, where would I go? And that's such a hard question. I'm gonna go into this uh, shade here called Mina or Mina, and I'm gonna spray the brush because I have my face makeup on and I don't want that all over me. I honestly, uh, there's so many places I would wanna go because I have all these friends now on YouTube that live all over the world and so, you know, it would be hard for me to choose just one spot. Like I would want to see Dee Dee and Steph and I want to see Marina and Emily and I'd want to go see Nikki and I'd want to go see Katie in Montana. And, you know, it would just be really hard. But um, <laughs> the thing is, is that my husband and I have been talking since shortly after we got together that we really want to go to Sweden because his uh, mom's family is of Swedish descent. And so he really wants to go to Sweden someday. And I do too. I think that would be really fun to go to Sweden. So I don't know, maybe we could just do this big loop around everywhere and go see everybody. And I would also want to see my friend Alinka that lives in Canada. So yeah, I don't know, that would be tough. But um, yeah, I'd want to just do like maybe like a month long tour of everywhere and just go see everybody. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, Sweden is somewhere that we've wanted to go for a really long time, so. Uh, my next question is from Meg. She actually subscribed to my channel before I even started it. <laughs> I told her that I was wanted to start a channel in like the comment section of a video. And she's like, well, I'm gonna subscribe right now so that when you start, I'll be on here already. And she did. And yeah, she's been with me since the very beginning. And I just adore Meg so much. Um, just love her to pieces. She's amazing. Um, but her question is, what is my favorite feel good movie? Uh, now I'm gonna go into this shade here called Jade and put that down towards the front part of my lid. Um, I would say Sound of Music. I love musicals and The Sound of Music is my favorite musical. I just love it so much. It's such a great, like feel good, heartwarming movie. I love all the music in it. I love the um, storyline, just everything. I love it. I think it's a beautiful movie. And uh, my husband and I, he'd never seen it before. I'm like, what? We just watched it like, I don't know, a few months ago. And I like literally sat the entire time with tears in my eyes. I was so happy to be watching it. He kept looking at me like, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I just love this movie so much. I love it. Um, so yeah, I would say Sound of Music is my favorite. Uh, let's see. Blending Therapy is her Instagram name. Um, she's wonderful. She and I connected on Instagram and we follow each other. And I just think she's gorgeous and I love her to pieces. Um, if you could only pick... 10 makeup items to keep from your collection, which ones would they be? <sighs> um, I don't know, that's a tough question. I would wanna pick probably like my Maybelline BB cream or maybe my Too Faced Peach Perfect. That's what I have for Perfect Peach. That's what I have on my face right now. Um, oh God, that would be hard. And then of course, like my Maybelline City Bronzer, um, probably my Milani Baked uh, Powder Blush in Rose Dioro. I love that blush so much. Oh, um, I don't know, brow product, of course, my item makeup brow pencil, uh, my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, of course, I love that. Um, you know, a liquid lipstick of some sort. Um, I have a few that I could choose from. I don't know which one I would grab, but one of them. <laughs> and then eyeshadow palettes, I mean, and a highlighter. I mean, gosh, I don't know, I don't know. That would be really hard. I'd probably pick my Wet n Wild I think it's like ultra glow or something highlighter i can't remember what it's called or mega glow i love that um and now i'm just going to go back in with this little brush again and i'm going to go back into that purple shade and just put a little bit more of that down towards the outer edge there and i love these shades these are gorgeous the, the shimmers are great they're very um easy to put down and i think the uh, mattes are really nice and really easy to blend i love them they're not patchy although i do feel like this purple one is a little bit oh kind of funky because it's kind of just kind of coming off a little bit maybe, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, I know that's probably not the greatest answer, the answer she was looking for, but that's all I can think of. I don't know. I mean, if I had to really sit down and pick out 10, it would be tough, very tough, because I, I have a lot of makeup. <laughs> um, Steph, not your basic Steph, yay. She asked me, 
you are in holiday on holiday in England, what makeup do you pack? And this is my answer to that question. <laughs> if I'm in England, I'm staying with Steph and Steph's makeup collection is incredible. So honestly, I would probably just uh, use Steph's makeup <laughs> while I stayed with her. Sharing is caring, my dear, sharing is caring. <laughs> just kidding. But no, I would just love to play in her makeup collection. God, it's gorgeous. Uh, but really, I don't know. I would just take stuff that's easy to pack, easy to use, maybe a couple of the like e.l.f. bite size palettes, or I really like the Romantic Nomad from BH Cosmetics. That's an easy one, I think, to travel with. Um, if I'm ever able to travel again, I would like to take that because I just, I like all the colors in it and it's a nice palette. Um, you know, just my Maybelline BB, I mean, huh? all that stuff I already said, I would take that with me, but I would love to play in Steph's makeup. <laughs> All right, the next questions are from Alinka. She has a channel on uh, here as well, on YouTube as well. And I just love her so much. We've become really close friends and I just adore her. I would love to meet her someday too. Um, her first question is what type of movies do you enjoy? And I love scary movies. I mean, I love all kinds of movies, but I really love scary movies a lot. Uh, Silence of the Lambs is my favorite movie. I said that in another video, but yeah, I just love that movie so much. I love the movie Seven. It's one another one of my favorite scary movies. Um, I like a couple of the Saw movies, but they just get kind of gross after a while. It's like, eh, yeah, no. All right, the next question is, what is your favorite high-end brand and your favorite drugstore brand? I don't really have a lot of high-end makeup. So I would probably say Natasha Denona, just because I have a few of those um, little five pan palettes that I got from my Boxy Charms, and I love those. So I would say Natasha Denona. And then my favorite drugstore brand would probably be Milani, just because they have a lot of things that I love. Like I love a, a couple of their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. I mean, more than a couple, but, um, and then uh, their blush I love, their bronzer I love. Um, I don't know that I've tried any lip products from Milani, but yeah, I would say Milani just because I think they have, or NYX. Mm, no, Milani. I'm going to stick with Milani. Now I'm going to go into the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker. I'm going to put that in my lower waterline. Um, and I'm also going to go to my next question, which is from Oakley. She also has a channel on YouTube that I will link in my description box. I adore her. She's so much fun to watch. Um, she said, what, or she asked me, what is your favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment? Ugh, that's a tough one too, because I cycle my, oops, I cycle my eyeshadow palettes out constantly. So I don't ever really use one like repeatedly, but there have been a couple that I've used repeatedly. Um, one is the Club Nebula. Mm. Love that. Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. I love that. And then the Beauty Bay Bright palette. I've used that a few times too. So I know she asked me for one, but I'm going to say those three are my favorites <laughs> at the moment. Tomorrow, totally different answer maybe. Um, and then Bridget, she is um, one of my dear friends as well. She also just started, recently started a YouTube channel. I'm going to link her too. Um, she asked me what kind of music just reaches into my soul. And I would say uh, 70s music, like 70s folk music and soul music too. Um, R&B from the 70s. I don't know. 70s music I just love so much. And like right now, I'm really into listening to Earth, Wind & Fire. Um, Sydney's getting married. Obviously, everybody knows that now. Um, but she wants to play the song September by Earth, Wind & Fire um, at the end. And we're all going to dance to it. It was just going to be me, her, and her brother, Brayden. We were going to just dance to it because like we've always loved that song. But we're going to include everybody. All right, now I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to start off with... I think I'm gonna start off with Re first and just kind of put that down all over on my lower lash line. Um, but yeah, and then the song Sarah from um, Fleetwood Mac is Sydney and my song to each other, um, which may sound kind of strange, but there's a line in it that says, um, you're the poet in my heart, never change, never stop. And we wanna get that tattooed, like she's gonna have, or no, I'm gonna have you're the poet in my heart and she's gonna have never change, never stop, like on her ankles at some point. We've been talking about doing that for years. Um, Sydney's got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, I love that song and I don't know. I just, I love, uh, Janice Ian, um, Joan Baez, Joni Mitchell, Judy Collins. Um, a lot of you've probably never even heard of those before. <laughs> um, I'm aging myself here, but yeah, those are just the songs that I grew up with. Uh, the Doobie Brothers, um, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Steely Dan. So that kind of music really gets me, um, I, I love the Jackson 5. I love, um, I was listening to Let It Whip from the Daz Band. Love that song. I sent that song to Dee Dee, actually. <laughs> I said, I'm getting down. Do you want to listen to this? And she's like, yes. So that was fun. Um, and then, 
I don't know, that's, I mean, I like a lot of music, but that's really what touches me deeply is that music. And then Cheryl, one of my subscribers from YouTube, and she now is following me on, we'd follow each other on Instagram. And I love Cheryl so much. Cheryl sends me the most dearest, kindest, warmest, lovingest, uh, just great messages on, uh, or comments in my comment section of my videos. And I just love her. And her question is, if you were stuck on a desert island, what five items from civilization would you take? uh with you to make life more bearable and why <laughs> good um sunscreen because i i mean i'm oh i'm gonna put some of that purple shade down that mohan just on the outer part of my uh, lower lash line um i screwed my skin up so bad well i didn't really screw it up but i could have really screwed it up i mean who knows but um, I used to lay out in the sun for hours with baby oil on when i was in high school just stupid so i would take sunscreen um, I would also take a deck of cards because I love to play like solitaire and I think that would be, you know, kind of a good activity to pass the time. Why not? Um, I would also take a big, huge, gigantic crossword puzzle book with a pen and I'm going to lump that in as one. I know that's cheating, but I'm cheating. I don't care. Um, so yeah, I would definitely do that. And then probably like a good pair of tennis shoes, like my Nikes. I would need that, I would think, on a desert island if I'm going to walk around. And then I think too, I would bring like a photo album of like pictures of my family, my kids, my hubby, uh, my friends, you know, just to have them with me. And that'd be great. Um, I think that looks great. I love this eye look. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. And then Hot Mess Mommy RN, she and I follow each other on Instagram as well. She creates some beautiful eye looks. Oh my God. Um, she said, what are the most, what are the must sees when traveling to Oregon? You know, there's a lot of places you can go here, but I highly recommend going to the coast. I can't find my normal brush, so I'm just going to use this other little lining brush. Um, but the Oregon coast is really fun to go to, so I would highly recommend that. Um, but there's like, you know, Astoria is kind of a coastal town up north, which is gorgeous. Um, Portland's a really fun city to go to. There's tons of stuff to do there. Um, the Mackenzie River, which we live close by, is beautiful to hike around. And there's a place called Blue Pool that you can hike to, and it's gorgeous. I love that. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just a, a ton of places to see here, but I would, I, I, like I said, I would recommend the coast. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, and then Color is Life. She's, we follow each other on Instagram as well. She's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you could only keep five to 10 eyeshadow palettes, which ones would they be and why? Um, the palettes I would keep are ones I've already mentioned. So the Beauty Bay Bright Palette, the uh, Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette, the uh, Stone Cold Fox, and let's see, that's what, four? Yeah, and then the Club Nebula. Those are just palettes that I love, that I think are really versatile and you can you know, create looks with, neutral and colorful alike. So that, those are the ones I would pick. Um, and I can't think of five more. I mean, I could, but those are the five that just stand out in my head today. You could ask me that tomorrow and maybe even this palette too who knows um okay and then now we're going to the youtube questions hooray now i'm going to go into my bronzer and i'm going to be using this this is the real her ultimate glow getter cheek trio and i'm going to use this bronzer here it's called incredible and i really like this bronzer a lot it's fun to use um okay uh my youtube questions may um she's been a subscriber since the very beginning too and I absolutely love May. She's just such a sweetheart to me. And we just totally connect with one another. And I love her. And she asked me, what are my life's greatest accomplishments thus far? Which that's a great question. And I would have to say my kids. Um, I just think they're amazing individuals. And they're really fun to be around. And I'm just really proud of both of them. You know, I was a single mom the majority of their lives. And... I don't know. It's just, it's a good feeling to know that like your kids are succeeding in their world and their life. And, um, you know, going to, we went, my daughter graduated from college. She's getting married. She has a great job. My son is in college. He's got a job and he's, you know, passing all of his classes and doing really well. So yeah, it's just, it's a good feeling to know that as your kids get older, that they're, and they're doing well, it's just, you know, kind of makes you want to give yourself a little pat on the back but yeah they're just great kids and i just love them to pieces and i don't mean to be like nauseating because i know sometimes people are like god i don't want to hear you talk about your kids again but i you know they're a huge part of my life i mean they're my heart and soul walking around outside my body and i just love them to pieces so yeah my kids are my greatest accomplishment by far and now i'm coming to didi my soul sister and she asked me some really good questions um the first question is what made you fall in love with makeup 
And I honestly, I, I don't know, really. I can't really put a finger on it. I just know that my daughter got me that Kathleen Lights Dream Street ColourPop palette, and it just opened my eyes to makeup, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just, that's what got me started on my YouTube journey, like watching YouTube tutorials and, you know, all that jazz. And I just really fell in love with makeup at that point. And uh, I don't know. I'm really glad that I did because I really enjoy... Um, that's pretty, that looks a little harsh right there. I can't say exactly um, when it all began, but around that time when my daughter got me that palette, that's when I started watching YouTube and just went for it. <clears throat> I love it. All right, now I'm gonna switch to my blush. This is another one of my favorite blush palettes right, palettes right now. I love this. This is the Chocolate Strawberry Truffle Palette from BH Cosmetics. This was also a gift from Dee Dee for my birthday. Mm, I love it and I love you. Um, so her next question, this is very fitting because I'm using her blush and answering her questions. Um, if you got a chance to shop for makeup in another state, which state would it be? And this smells like strawberries too. <laughs> um, you know, I'm pretty happy with Oregon. Um, I, I like what, what I have available to me here. Um, Ulta and TJ Maxx and we have like a Sephora that I've never been to. Isn't that crazy? Never been to Sephora. Um, but I don't know. Um, I'd love to go to like Beverly Hills or Los Angeles and go shop in some really fancy makeup place, makeup store, <laughs> makeup place, God, I'm such a dork, um, or New York, you know, somewhere where it's like really fancy high-end makeup place. I would love to do that. Um, I don't know that I would buy any of it cause I always like freak out about the price tag. I'm like, that's how much, but I would love to go <laughs> and see it and say I'd been there, you know, of, of course. Um, and then let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm fine with Oregon. I'm really happy here buying makeup. So I don't know. I mean, any place I would go, I would want to check out their makeup selection. No matter what state it was, I would want to see what they have. Um, her next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Wow. Um, honestly, I would love to have a grandbaby in five years. <laughs> Sydney, um, her goal initially was she was going to have a baby right away after they got married. And I think um, teaching in, at pr a preschool now has made her realize that well, maybe that's not what she wants to do right away. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Isn't this blush gorgeous? I love the blush. I love the bronzer. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And this is looking a little funky right there. So I'm going to do something else to fix that here in just a minute. Um, and now I'm going to go into my highlighter, which is the Profusion Luminizer One Highlighter Palette. This is a mess, but it's wonderful. And I'm going to use this shade here called Lightning because it's kind of got a purpley blue pinky reflect in it. I thought that would look good with the eye look. Um, her next question is, what is your goal here on YouTube? Um, that's another question that's hard for me to answer. I just really wanted to come on here and have fun. You know, um, I don't anticipate having, you know, a bajillion subscribers. Uh, I mean, you know, it'd be fun to have a lot of subscribers, but that's not really, I don't know. I, I just don't see that happening for me. Maybe it will, who knows, but that's not, was never my goal. I just wanted to come on here and have fun and share my love and passion for makeup with you guys. That's it, you know, and I just wanted to connect with you guys too. That's so much fun. It's so much fun getting to know people and like hearing their preferences and like things about their life. And um, you guys are amazing. I have some awesome, I mean, all my subscribers are amazing. I just love you guys to pieces. I love you. And it's, you've made this so like worthwhile and um, I don't, I don't ever question whether or not I should be doing this. I love doing it. And I just really appreciate you guys. Yeah. I, I love having fun on here. It's just, it's been a great, a great thing for me to start is this channel. I just really enjoy it. I love it. Her next question is what are the top five makeup items you would love to own? Um, I would really like to own more high-end makeup. I would love to have a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. I would love to have the um, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I think that is such a gorgeous bronzer, that big gold shell. Oh, it's gorgeous. I would like to have a couple of Wayne Goss eyeshadow palettes. I think he's got some really pretty palettes. Um, Oh gosh. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just would like to try more high-end brands. That would be really fun for me. And also I would really like to try more UK indie brands. So I don't know that I can pick just five. Sorry, Dee Dee. But um, yeah, high-end makeup brands I would like to try more of. And then also UK indie brands. Uh, her next question is, 
describe yourself in one sentence. Now, I could not do this. I could not figure out how to do this. I asked my husband for help. He's like, I, I, I. so I texted my kids. I asked them and Brayden, my son, he answered. Sydney's been too caught up in her wedding planning. So he answers and this is what he says, describing me in one sentence. A very passionate, caring, crazy, loud lady <laughs> with great makeup taste and an energy that fills every room with laughter, love, and conversation. I thought that was really sweet of him. So that's me in a sentence. That's from my son. Um, also, I wanna kinda make this look a little less harsh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Contour Palette and use this little white shade. Um, I do this a lot with my um, eyeshadows. If there's not like a lighter blending out shade, I'll just grab um, I'm going to clean this off a little bit. Grab this little palette and just kind of use that to kind of just tone that down a little bit. Um, let's see. Her next question are, uh, or is, if you could collab with a makeup brand, which one would it be? <sighs> um, I would say Cara Beauty. <laughs> I mean, I cannot imagine that ever happening. I mean, my God, that's crazy. But I would love to collab with Cara Beauty. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Because I just love their brand so much. I think that would be great. And then let's see, what are my hobbies? Well, I answered that in another video, but I'll just quickly say, um, I like to color, quill, cross stitch, crossword puzzles, um, hiking, walking, uh, listening to music, watching scary movies. So yeah, that's, that's those are my hobbies. Um, and just kind of hanging out with my family. I don't know if that's really a hobby, but that's something I really like to do. And of course, makeup, 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 makeup. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Looks a little bit more blended out, not quite so stark, harsh line. I hate that. I do that a lot. I don't like it. Bugs me. Um, okay, and then another question. Um, if you could talk to your, this is all from Dee Dee, by the way. If you could talk to your younger self, what makeup or skincare advice would you give her? Stay out of the sun, woman. <laughs> God, I was such an idiot. I would just get in the sun constantly and just stupid. And I'm so lucky that I'm not riddled with skin cancer. I mean, who knows? I could be someday. I don't know. I hope not. But yeah, uh, just not lay in the sun for six hours slathered in baby oil. That's I would definitely. And also to wash my face every day. There was a lot of times where I would go to bed with a absolute full face of makeup on and then wake up with massive acne. So I should have washed my face more too. Uh, let's see. And then her last question is, are you satisfied with your makeup collection? And yeah, I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with it. Like I said, I'd like to own more high-end makeup, but I'm really happy with the drugstore and affordable makeup that I have. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my makeup collection, I would say. And then the very last question, this is from BMX Bandit 63 She is my YouTube subscriber. I love her. She's wonderful. And her question is, will you be doing your own makeup for your daughter's wedding? And yes, I will be. Um, Sydney is having somebody come and do the bridesmaid's hair and she's offered to do the mother's, my hair and her future mother-in-law's hair, but I, I don't know. I just feel like, no, it's okay. I mean, I don't really do much to my hair anyway. Um, but yeah, I will be doing my own makeup and I'm very excited about that. I have no idea. Well, I'm going to use this palette obviously for the rehearsal dinner, but I don't know what I'm going to use for her wedding. Um, I think I might use the flutter by palette cause I have kind of like a muted kind of wine color dress. So I think that would look good. So, but we'll see. So yeah, these were great questions. I am gonna do a couple things to finish up this look, add some liner and mascara and lipstick, and I will come back and wrap this baby up. So please don't go anywhere. All right, this is the finished look. I had such a blast playing with the Hasina 2 palette. I mean, it, it met all my wildest dreams, met all of my expectations. I love this palette so much. But before I get into all that, I just wanted to go over a few things that I used in the final look. Um, I use for my mascara the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I got this in an Ipsy a while back and I love this. I need to put on my big girl pants and get like a big tube of this but because I love it. And uh, But I just kind of forget that I have it decided to go ahead and pull this out and use it today and I love it. And then for my upper lid, I use the Ciate Fierce Flix uh, Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is one of my absolute, or actually I think it is, my favorite liquid eyeliner, um, like the little felt tip liners. I just love this so much. It goes on so easily. It doesn't dry out between eyes and I love it. And then for my lips, I use the Ofra Flexi Stick Liquid Lipstick in the shade Velour. This was a gift from my beautiful friend, sister, and mentor, Steph, not your basic Steph, and I really enjoy using this. I've used this a lot, and I just thought it would look nice with the eye look. And now, the palette, the Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe. Oh, I love this palette so much. The shades I used were gorgeous. I really want to use all of them. Um, but yeah, this Erin shade was really nice. The Iris shade was beautiful. Re was probably my favorite matte that I used. This shade here, Mohan or Mohan, this purple shade, 
it it was nice but it kind of I noticed it was kind of like blending off a little quickly um so I had to kind of put more and more down which I mean that's okay but um it didn't perform as well as Reed did and then I used uh this jade shade here this shimmer and then Mina or Mina and I love the shimmers the shimmers are gorgeous the shimmers are the star of this palette I would say I mean I haven't used all of them yet but man, Nikki, thank you so much for sending me this palette. I just cannot thank you enough. And this was such a blast, like I said, to play with this palette. And it just absolutely uh, lived up to everything I thought it would. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. And I also wanted to thank anybody that asked me questions for this video today. Thank you so much. That was really fun to answer all those questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my answers. And also to Audrey Michelle, uh, the creator that inspired me to do this video. Thank you so much for creating your video, which helped me create my video. That was just wonderful to like watch yours and get this idea. So thank you so, so much for doing that. Like I said, please go check out Audrey's channel. I'm going to have all of the people I talked about that have channels, like I've said already, I'm going to link in the description box. Please go check all of them out and uh, give them some love because I just think they're amazing creators and I'm very lucky to consider them my friends. Uh, so thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again on my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I cannot wait to see you again. Thanks so much, you guys. Take care. Bye.